Yeah, so he's out on the pitch. Uh -huh. And we've got our vice captain. Um, we're going to send out Ray as well. And Paul. I'm second. And you're going as well. And we've one more. Let's see. Uh, we start with Stephen. So that's our seven. That's, we're all going to be ready to go on the subs, okay? Yeah. And we'll move up onto the sideline. Let's go. Tim, we're at the Kingspan Stadium today for a festival of rugby. Can you tell us what's it all about? Well, that's just all about uh, it's disability rugby, Ta tag rugby for those who have learning disabilities. We have teams here from all around Ireland and uh, from England, Scotland, and Wales. Representatives from the four home unions are here, and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for us here to showcase our new stadium. But it's all about developing the game and the growth of the game, and uh, it's just fantastic to have the people here. The, the weather has been poor, but it hasn't dampened the spirits of the players. You can see, full of smiles. That's what it's all about: participation and inclusion. Uh, we, we have a team up from Limerick. Uh, we have, I think, it's four clubs up from Dublin, and um, we have our own representatives from our own nine clubs in Ulster here today. So it's fantastic. 440 players, 44 teams, and uh, we look forward to next year's festival, which is going over to Shropshire. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank, I can't thank everybody, the list is too long, but especially uh, the two main sponsors of today's event, the Wooden Spoon, which is the children's charity of rugby, and Belfast City Council. Uh, their support for the event, the event has been immensely made it all possible. Thank you. This is mayhem at the moment. No, it's not mayhem at all. It's, it's organised confusion. Uh, it's great. Uh, the four pitches ground staff, Ulster, Ulster Rugby, have really got behind this project. Uh, we had the opportunity to host this that came along a year and a half ago. We, we, we jumped at it and uh, it's just great to have this, uh, as you say, the grounds marked out the, 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 and the players are having a ball. Tell us a bit about your role with the Ulster Rugby and the Ulster branch. What exactly do you do? My role is uh, I am the Disability Inclusion Officer uh, for Ulster Rugby. My role is about the growth of the game. It's uh, providing opportunities for those uh, who perhaps didn't have that opportunity to engage in rugby. And that's across all disabilities, uh, whether it's uh, learning disabilities, physical or sensory. Uh, we want to move the game forward and, and, as I say, grow the figures and participation. And the key of the participation is fun. Fun and inclusion. Look around here today, it's, that's what it's all about. The, these players here are an absolute, uh, an absolute inspiration to all of us. They're having a ball. Thanks very much, Tim. Thank you. I'm with Chris Webster, domestic rugby manager at the Ulster branch. Chris, uh, a big day here at the uh, Kingspan Stadium. Oh, it's a fantastic day. It's great to see. Um, this has been months in the planning, if not years. Uh, it was probably about seven, eight years ago whenever Tim Craig first spoke to me about setting up the New Forge Tigers. And to come from that concept of having a, a single team within the province, the first team in the island of Ireland, to having today's festival where we've 44 clubs playing is, is unbelievable. So, um, if you'd asked me at that stage would we ever have had this, I would have said no, but now that it's here, it's fantastic and I think this type of festival is, is here to stay and if anything will only get bigger over the next few years. Well you've moved into this new role, uh, what, what are your ambitions and what are your targets for the next few years? I suppose the, the key thing for us really is about growing the game um, and growing all, all aspects of the game, so trying to get as many people as possible playing, coaching, volunteering. Um, and you know the, the whole development of disability rugby just opens up another avenue to us for people getting involved in, in this game and it's really about the rugby family uh, and, and growing the rugby family and it's, it's great to see so many people here today. You know Ulster Rugby, uh, a lot of people look at Ulster Rugby from the professional game and what they see on a Friday night or on a Saturday and that's very important but you know within the, the domestic game there's so much more happens within our clubs and schools and communities uh, and the important thing for us is linking the professional game with what happens within our, within our domestic game and the chance that those uh, kids come here and play where they see their heroes playing at the weekend uh, you know it, it's, it's really important for us just, just widening the whole, the whole aspect and, and, and the brand um, I think it's one of the key aspects of around the decal funding not just from the stadium's point of view but also the work that, that we do in terms of uh, the tackling poverty and promoting equality within the game so uh, you know we're very keen to see that the stadium is used not just for professional games but all aspects of the domestic game so whether it's club or school finals or events such as this that people can come in and have access to what we're doing so yeah I think today encapsulates perfectly 
what the community aspect of Ulster Rugby is all about. Absolutely. You know, we have, uh, during the course of the season, probably 50 staff who are employed right across the province, promoting the game, getting people playing, working with their clubs and schools. And it's events like this that people see all that hard work coming to fruition. So, and it's great to see so many of our staff giving up their time to come here today and support Tim and support all the other volunteers. So, um, just a pity that the sun didn't shine, but uh, I don't think that's really dampened anyone's enthusiasm or spirits today. And uh, it's great to walk around and see the, the families here, and um, in particular the, the, all the kids that are playing, just really enjoying themselves. And that's what, what rugby is about, and that's why we all got involved.